Hey guys, welcome back to April's Aquarium. My name's Jacob, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the fish that have been landed from Aquarium Glasser for almost a week now. We've got some pretty cool ones to check out. To start off, we're going to take a look at the Corydoras atropinosis. These guys are a on the smaller side of the Corydoras, maxing out around two inches, sometimes a little bit less. They have a very unique spotting pattern with a similar mask to something like a panda or a bandit cory. These are a great option for tanks, 10 gallons and up. Melon barbs are a very unique species of barb. They do tend to be much more peaceful than something like the tiger barbs or even the black ruby barbs. They go in an extremely bright red color as they mature up. You can already see it starting to develop on the fins of these guys. Even in the last week that they've been settling in, the colors develop so, so much. Leopoldi angels are the smallest of the angelfish. These guys here are pretty much full grown. As you can see, they're not quite as elongated as something like the classic angelfish or the ultimate angelfish, but a little more compact. Three and a half inches is about as big as these guys' bodies will get getting really nice red coloration throughout their fins and sometimes a nice blue sheen throughout their body. The zebra autosynclus are a species that I've been on the lookout for for nearly half a decade. They are a very unique auto, staying around the same size as the classic autos that you see, but of course having that striking, striking pattern that you can see. Many times when they mature up and feel a little more comfortable, their eye does go a quite nice blue color, um, giving you a little bit of a pop of light in a sometimes darker tank. They will eat algae similar to a regular autosynclus. Just a great alternative algae eater. The pair autosynclus heraldi are a very unique little catfish, typically maxing out anywhere from 1.2 to 1.5 inches. Having those striking white dots on that dark black body means they're going to pop out in nearly any circumstance. They are quite social, similar to regular autosynclus, so I would recommend a small group. But the great thing about these guys is they can go in super small tanks, anything from 10 gallons and up. While Emperor Tetras have been around in the hobby for years and years, the leucistics are something that is relatively new. This is my first time seeing these guys in person. I do quite like having the bright white body and the nice blue eyes. It means they're going to pop out in any dark tanks. You can also do a mix of something like the Black Emperor Tetra, the White Emperor Tetra, and the Classic Emperor Tetra for fish that are going to look different, but all school together really nicely. Eccles quarries have been one of my favorite Corydora species for the longest time, for quite obvious reasons. They have this incredibly bright orange cheek with a dark black body, with a really nice iridescence color on them. When the light hits them the right way, many times they're going to look quite blue. A really nice blue streak across their cheek. A very unique, very striking quarry. Corydora Sulezi are a really unique cory as well. Having similar coloration in the fins to a Sturbi cory, but a much more busy pattern, giving them a striking look that not many other quarries can compare to. These resboras are incredibly unique. Most of the common resboras you're going to see red and orange colors, but with this specific species, the blue axolradi resboras, you're going to get a more similar look to something like a green neon tetra. Staying very small, comparable to something like a Galaxy Rasbora or a Ruby Tetra. These guys have a striking color that comes out even better with a little bit of tannins in the water. With this shipment from Aquarium Glassers, we ended up with over 40 new species that we've never had in store before. Not only is that really exciting for us, we hope that translates to some really exciting fish for you guys. We really appreciate you guys watching, and don't forget to subscribe!